Go, go! Let's move! This is about becoming legends. Hello and welcome to Select 10. Today we'll rank some of the top Netflix original films that you should watch now. This list will be a blend of new, old, and lesser known best Netflix movies that need to be on your watch list, and we won't be including already well-known titles like Red Notice or Extraction. Also, please leave a comment if you find any new movies to watch from this list. Now let's start the video. Number 10. His House. It is a horror thriller film written and directed by Remy Weeks. The story focuses on Bol and Ryle, a married couple and refugees from South Sudan who came to the UK to escape conflict and bloodshed. When they arrive in the UK, they are given sanctuary in a rural community in England, with restrictions on their freedom, including being unable to look for work, being unable to take in more money than what has been given to them, and being forced to live in a rundown house with a broken door. The core plot begins as the couple attempts to adapt to their new lifestyle, but they are soon haunted by an evil entity that appears to be living inside their walls. Despite having a decent plot, the film brilliantly combines a traditional tale of a haunted house with a realistic immigrant horror, so if you enjoy horror films, watch this one because you will scream, gasp, and probably cry. And the movie has a 6.5 rating on IMDb and a 74% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 9. Caliber. It is a British thriller film directed by Matt Palmer. The plot revolves around Vaughn and Marcus, two best friends who go on a hunting trip in the Scottish Highlands that turns into an endless terror as they try to hide a terrible killing accident. The two are put to the test as they must deal with an unexpected scenario that neither could have anticipated. The plot of Caliber takes a while to unfold, but the wait is worthwhile because the second half offers some excellent resolutions to the initial tension building. The plot is simple, but the outcome is a suspenseful isolated drama, drenched in stunning imagery, highlighting Scotland's scenery. It is a Netflix hidden gem that is definitely worth watching. And the film has a 6.8 rating on IMDb and a 75% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 8. Night in Paradise. It is a crime drama film directed by Park Hoon Young. The plot revolves around Taegu, a veteran criminal with an ill younger sister and nephew. While Taegu intends to quit the crime organization, another crime group targets Taegu, which unintentionally leads to his sister and nephew's sudden deaths in a car explosion staged by the opposing mafia group. Saddened by the loss of his loved ones, Taegu vows to exact revenge by assassinating the leader of another group before fleeing to Jeju Island. However, things become complicated when he finds a mysterious woman who has little time left to live. Simply put, the film is crazy, the scenery, the script, and the music work so beautifully together amid the drama and slow pacing. And the movie has a 6.7 rating on IMDb and a 71% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 7. The Trip. It is an action comedy film starring Axel Henney and Numi Rapis. The story revolves around Lars and Lisa, a problematic couple, pretending to reconnect when they travel to a distant lodge, but they are actually planning to murder each other. However, before they can execute their intentions, a trio of escaped prisoners unexpectedly show up and kidnap them. As a result, Lisa and Lars are now prey instead of predators, and it's crystal clear where the movie is going from there. Overall, the trip begins with a roar and ends with a weep, but it is a fast-paced roller coaster ride with superb performances and a crisp story that make this film one of the most enjoyable to watch. And the movie has a 6.9 rating on IMDb and a 69% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 6. Blade of the Immortal. It is an epic samurai action film directed by Takashi Mayak. The plot revolves around the immortal samurai Manji, who has killed many people, including good and evil, and now resides as an outlaw in ancient Japan. However, when Manji encounters a poor girl named Rin Asano, she appoints him as her protector. But the story turns violent when Manji discovers that the girl's parents were murdered by a gang of expert swordsmen under the command of the merciless warrior, Anatsu. Pledging allegiance, safety, and revenge against the sword soldiers who massacred her family, the strange duo embarks on an extraordinary mission, which will force them into a bloody battle with a merciless warrior. The opening fight in the film has some of the most brutal samurai combat ever, which shows how intense the film is going to be. But the only drawback is that you might become a little bored in the middle of the movie, but overall, it's an absolute treat for fans of sword fighting, martial arts, and action movies. 
And the movie has a 6.7 rating on IMDb and a 70% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 5. Army of Thieves. It is a 2021 heist action comedy film directed by Matthias Schwegefer. The movie is set before the events of Army of the Dead and follows the story of German safecracker Ludwig Dieter, who is recruited by a mysterious woman to join a group of FBI most wanted criminals in an attempt to rob a series of historic uncrackable vaults throughout Germany. What happens next is a desperate quest across Europe as a dedicated international police officer, Delacroix, tries everything he has to stop them from robbing banks. Many fans were dissatisfied after watching Army of the Dead since it did not live up to their expectations, but Army of the Thieves is the polar opposite, it is a much better and more fun film than its successor. So, if you're looking for a movie that's high on pleasure, look no further, this one has everything from a fantastic story to action, humor, and thrills, to keep you amused. And the movie has a 6.4 rating on IMDb and a 70% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 4. Kingdom, A Shin of the North. It is a special, 1 hour and 30 minute episode, or you might call it a zombie action thriller movie, related to the Kingdom TV series. Kingdom Ashin of the North delves into the past of Ashin, the enigmatic heir to the clan of the Northern Tribe, as well as the roots of the Resurrection Herb, which kicked off an unprecedented series of horrific events that consumed the Joseon dynasty. It investigates, reveals, and explains the structure of the Resurrection Plant, which has the power to raise the dead as zombies, as well as the mystery surrounding Ashin's existence. It centers on Ashin, a character that was revealed at the conclusion of the second season finale of The Kingdom, and delves deeply into her life. Even if you haven't seen The Kingdom series, you can still watch this film, because it is a pre-equal and an origin story, so you only need to be a zombie or action movie lover to enjoy this film. And the movie has a 7 rating on IMDb. Number 3. The Revenge. It is a teen comedy film, directed by Jennifer Caton Robinson. The plot centers on two young girls named Dree and Eleanor as they navigate their teen life in high school. Dree is at the top of her high school career as the alpha girl in school, but her entire adult life is turned upside down when her sex tape is released to the school community, supposedly by her lover Max. On the other hand, Eleanor is a new, insecure foreign student who is upset to learn that she now has to attend school with her former bully, Carissa, who spread a terrible rumor about her in youth camp when they were both 13. However, the chaos starts when Dree and Eleanor create an unusual relationship in order to get revenge on their respective abusers. You might be thinking that this is just another usual high school drama, but it's not, it offers an interesting premise and an unexpected plot twist that you won't see coming. And the movie has a 6.5 rating on IMDb and an 85% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 2. The Fundamentals of Caring. It is a road comedy drama film, directed by Rob Burnett. The plot revolves around Ben, a former author who has just completed a caregiver's certification course and is prepared to help his first client. While Elsa, the single mother of Trevor, the unhappy teen with a fatal and terrible condition that has rendered him wheelchair-bound, conducts an interview with him, and surprisingly, Trevor accepts Ben's offer to work as his carer after being struck by his honesty and sense of humor. Later they persuade Elsa to allow them to go on a road trip to see the sights, while their strength to survive is pushed to its limits as they learn the value of faith and friendship. It is a heartwarming uplifting film, and there are simply not enough words to express the joy this film brings. The heart and soul of this film is the connection between the characters, and without a doubt, Paul Rudd is the main reason to see and enjoy this well-executed dramedy. And the movie has a 7.3 rating on IMDb and an 83% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 1. Beasts of No Nation. It is a war drama film, directed by Kerry Joji Fukunaga. The story centers on Nagu, a decent boy who grows up in an unidentified West African community where his mother is deeply religious and his father is a schoolteacher. However, when the nation descends into a deadly civil war, his father, brother, and grandparents die in the merciless onslaught, and he escapes into the woods to undertake a terrifying quest through darkness, fear, isolation, and hunger. But everything changes when Agu is discovered by a gang of young rebels, led by the commander, who takes an interest in him and recruits him to join his army of guerrilla troops. This movie is a brilliant combination of writing, acting, and direction, it brilliantly demonstrates how child soldiers are trained, controlled, mistreated, and changed from survivors of civil conflict into beasts of violence and horror. Just a reminder, it will leave you speechless and emotional. 
And the movie has a 7.7 .7 rating on IMDb and a 92% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.